herb is the healing of the nation, right? Yo, Wagwan, it's that guy. Feeling fantastic today. Doing dread reviews. Keeping the ball rolling. I present to you the very first dreadlock review on Shorty Shorty that has ever existed on the internet. This dude has had some pretty epic dreadlocks growing up in the scene and he's also been making some noise in the rap game as well. Shorty Shorty, let's go ahead and jump right in and seeing what his locks. Shorty Shorty is a 22 year old rapper. That's all we have. That's crazy that there's no information on this guy. Either way, we shall see what his dreadlocks are looking like. I'm pretty sure he's from Baltimore. Um, and he's had some pretty serious ra um, dreads over the days. So his hair looks like it started out with some two strand twists. Uh, he's still got the curly ends here as well, showing that his tips were never blunted or anything like that. So he was rocking the faux hawk style, which is more of a, a high top, but with the back still intact. And I feel like his appearance is what really is eye-catching um, because of his tattoos all over his face and neck and shit and then some dreads. Here's a shot that we can really see how his um, hairstyle is. So he's got a ponytail to the front, ponytail to the back. The sides are now shaved down. So it really shows what sort of dreadlocks he is rocking. As they gain some length. You can see how the curly ends are starting to blunt up a little bit more. But I feel like these days his hair is actually a lot different. Because from what i just seen in the Mozzie video that he's featured in, it looks like he's got a lot of color. So this is a shot from that music video that we had just watched on the Mozzie's video, Mozzie's channel. Um, we can see now he's got some bleach in his hair. He's got some green tinge in his hair as well. Definitely a lot of length happening these days. Glad to see the length, most importantly. But more so, he's gotten more bleach in his hair than ever before. Kind of making it look a bit grungy. Murder beats in the house. Here we can see that green hair as well. Tips looking a lot different now compared to when he first started. And uh, I swear a lot of his photos, he looks like an alien. So, I mean, not the most prolific for... Um, dreadlock photos on the internet it's a cool mask i like that he wears his hair down in front of his face a lot Let's see what we got here dreadlocks looking a little red actually in this video this must have been right before he started to dye them uh green so what do we see on his locks i like this look when you put the locks through the back of the cap it looks like some of his dreads are still twisted together in, in two strands a lot of bleach on the tips here so he's definitely been messing around with a lot of the hair dye lately but a lot of styling going into his locks these days just considering how much color he's really putting in between between this look right here and the looking in the newest video with mozzie where uh if we go to mozzie's page here where in this video uh you can see that his locks are a lot more green than red like we've seen in the last video one thing to note here is that growing a beard and a mustache with the, the dreadlocks, especially natural dreadlocks, it is the look. It is the style. It, it is part of the culture to kind of have facial hair and beard um, and locks. I haven't got to the point where I can grow a big beard out, but I mean, I'm working on that and I will get there at some point in my life. But I just feel like it's good to try it out. It's good to try having uh, a beard, a mustache, and dreadlocks, if you are a male, of course. So last shot here, uh, we can just see some length really happening on his locks. He's still kind of got these curly tips, uh, but to be honest, his hair looks like it is growing a little slow. Might just be his hair type, could be his diet, could be a bunch of things, uh, but nonetheless, he's still locked up and... The perfect thing about that is that he's promoting the lock culture um, to us and to everybody else. 
so yeah that's the way that we're doing it here uh, on not nation today just giving you a quick video on shorty shorty baltimore's very own uh dreadhead singer rapper um raspy voice extraordinaire his music is dope go check it out i won't lie uh bonnie and clyde freestyle fire fire is all i gotta say so and in this video today, just want to make sure everybody's staying positive, staying productive. Uh, how's life treating you guys these days? Um, you know, bleeding content coming soon for you guys. And uh, essentially, you know, I just want to say stand up for your rights. Stand up for human rights. Stand up for animal rights. Stand up for uh, oppression. Stand up for people that don't have a voice and they can't express themselves. Stand up for those that aren't able to stand up for themselves. That's all I want to say today. Uh, is that I uh, you know keep a lookout. And here at Not Nation, I know we do that amongst one another. Is we got each other's back, and that's the best thing about how we're growing this community. You know, we're 130k strong, and it just keeps getting bigger. And, and it's awesome to see Dreadheads uniting worldwide, so that we can uh, eventually spread our truths, our peace our freedoms and help encourage people to find inner peace within themselves through growing their hair naturally that's it for today thanks for watching i'll see you guys tomorrow peace out one love i'm gone adios Herb is the eating of the nation right